In your opinion, what happened that night at the Abaddon Hotel? I don't know. If you want to know what I think happened that night, I have no idea. Breaking news just reaching us now. Tragedy at a Halloween haunted house in Abaddon. To this day, I can't give you an answer to that question. Well, Hell House was a real tragedy on many levels. From what we're hearing, the opening night of this haunted house tour ended in disaster. Multiple deaths from police aren't answering any of our questions. He had older victims and younger victims. Uh, these are people who were paying for the uh, scare experience in a controlled environment. And in the end, what they got was total chaos. A small abandoned hotel was transformed into a haunted attraction. It was due to run tours the next few weeks through Halloween. We're not sure if anybody from the company has made it out alive as of right now. Shaken tour goers appear to not really know what was going on either. I've been waiting all along for about five minutes now, and I mean, I just see all these bunch of people coming out. I'm like, dude, where do I go? No, I have no idea. I still don't know. Whenever people ask me what happened in Hell House, I tell them, you watch the video, you tell me. How many people are they letting in at a time? I don't know. It's a long wait. I think we're next. We're gonna be fun. We've been waiting for you. I hope you all enjoy your stay. Love your eyes. It will be for a very, very... Camera on. Camera on. I see you. I see you. Yeah. <laughs> Difficulties on opening night. April, where are you? Watch out for that thing. Get it all
Nobody knew what to make of the YouTube video, and then the 911 tape leaked, and that just confused people even more. 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> The cause of death is now vaguely being blamed on a severe malfunction. What exactly malfunctioned isn't clear and authorities aren't saying. All we have from that night is the video the tour goer shot, uploaded to YouTube before the police got a hold of it. Uh, the 911 call was the only other thing and that didn't really tell us much of what was going on inside. Then this photographer, Martin Cliver, comes along, gets inside the hotel, takes pictures, puts it up on the internet, starts to raise some real questions that the town does not want answers to. The hardest part, the hardest part was probably the silence. Um, everything was very hush-hush. There were gag orders put on everyone involved with the case. Cops, lawyers, uh, even the families of the victims were left pretty much completely in the dark. It was, um, it was impossible to get anyone to talk to us at first. So I wanted to see inside the hotel. First and foremost, um, asking questions was, like I said, getting me nowhere. So uh, I went to the hotel and I walked around the back and found a low window and knocked out the boards and climbed inside. The blood on the floor, what do you make of that? Well, it certainly debunks the theory that there was some sort of a gas leak, which we all knew was bullshit in the first place. Uh, so I eventually found my way to the basement door. Uh, it was blown off its hinges, like someone had forced their way through it. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I stood to the side of the door and pointed the camera down the stairs and just snapped a few pictures. Um, I've seen a lot, been to a lot of scary places in my career and there was no way I was going down those stairs, no way. Would you please state your name and age for the camera? I'm Sarah Havel, uh, 30 years old. And you were a member of Hell House since its beginning in 2002, correct? Yeah. And since the night of the tragedy, where have you been, Sarah? I've been staying with family mostly. Have you been coping okay? Uh, I'm in a better place now. I'm happy to hear that. Um, if you don't mind, I just want to jump right into it um, because obviously the town's decision to conceal all aspects of this tragedy from the public have caused conspiracy theorists and normal people alike to speculate on their own. It was a smart thing to do. Why? If people knew what really went on inside of that house, it would have been hard for them to deal with. Well, I guess, I guess that's what we're all wondering, what really happened. Can you help? What do you want to know? Well, can you take us back to the beginning and go from there? What is that? It's everything. Everything that went on in the house was taped. Um, mostly by Paul and Tony. 
some tour goers. How did you get these and not the police? I got to them first. Why, why, did, why didn't you give them to the police? You'll see. Mitchell? Mitchell, Mitchell's gonna go ahead and, and just start looking through those, if that's all right. Sarah, have you watched those? No. So you have no idea what's on them? Hell House. It's a recent okay. film. You can get this. Post-apocalyptic setting. You can get this. Last word. Come on. It came out literally a year ago. I can't. I'm drawing a blank. Last word. All right. Will Smith. No hitch was I not. I love hitch. Shocker. It's funny. It is, and I stand behind it, Paul. Don't knock it. It's good movies. <laughs> is it, um, okay. Is it Escape from New York? For those watching, Sarah's asking if it's a 1981 Kurt Russell joint. So then, it's not. No, not even close. Come on. So have we all just sort of given up on navigating, guys? Am I doing all of it? Jesus Christ. I think that Alex has it under control, right, I do buddy? Have it. Thank you, Paul. Yes, it's straight up ahead. I recognize the road. You're not lost. We're almost there, all right? And in today's edition of Why Are Mac and Alex Still Fighting, Mac and Alex are still fighting. So revealing. Yeah. Is that what he's like in the sack? Guys, I'm really hungry. I'm sorry. Do you want to pee or anything? Do you want to? Yeah, can I pee out there in the grass, please? I mean, do you... tell me, tell me this. All right, if you're going to a haunted house for Halloween and this is the drive over, tell me this is creepier than New York City. Look, 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 look. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, wow. Is that really it? This is it. What a shithole. Hotel wow. out. I love it. Okay. Yeah, let's stop here. Oh. Seven years, bad luck to break that. Oh, it's good. Paul, oh, you getting this? Work? You can work out on that one. Hey, yo, we'll set you up. We'll have four guys to come through and keep working on it. <laughs> yeah, <let's... laughs> Here we go. Okay. Ooh. Exciting. <laughs> Here we go. To Hell House 2009. Oh so bang. God. Yikes. Oh, oh, oh. When you said abandoned, I thought you meant recently foreclosed, not condemned. Oh, well, I have no idea. I don't even know how you run power. To That's a deep call. Tony, if we're going to get power, this is going to be enough. because of you. All right. The electricity is on the bridge. You got the comments. You earned the confidence. Oh, look at this old ass bug. Oh, did you hear the pages? Oh. You know, I need electricity to do everything that I do here, bud. Well, part of what you do is get the electricity running. So, that's all you, Tony. Great. Stop giving me that look, man. This is pretty creepy, man. Jesus. It smells like a sweater. Yeah, a sweater? An old sweater. You got that? Yeah. What do you got? <laughs> oh, even more fun. Oh, the foyer. Dude, what is the deal with this place? When did Fletcher say the guy closed this place? I don't know, babe. It's it, the history, all right? It's, yeah, it's not that important. Idea. This is not a bad idea, okay? Let's look at all this free production design. And you smell that? Yeah. Hon, what did it smell like to you? I think it's probably dead rose inside of like the baseboards. It smells like money, bro. Thank you, Paul. Why money. Is Paul, it's always on my side. We're not going to have time. This is. Ugh. Fine. I have no doubt we can get this up and running by Halloween. All right, well. Let's get to it. Can we see some happy faces? Paul. 
Can you see a smile on my face? Now show Mac and see the complete utter difference. We're gonna do a time lapse. Wah, wah. Wah. Dude, dibs on Manning the Haunted Bar. Yeah, I'm sure Alex would love that. What do we got in here? Anything good? Well, yeah, Nothing matters. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, not good. It's ripe, huh? Oh. I fucking love this place. Yeah? What's your uh, wine of choice there, Hotshot? Kind of a Pinot Gris man myself. A Pinot Gris man? I'm sure they taste like ass after however many summers they've just been cooking. Dude. Dude, wine tastes better with age, you know that. Yeah, not with heat, though. You're so smart, Tony. God damn. This must be where the Last Supper took place. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to uh, the dining room, I'm guessing. That's what you want to call it? Sure. <laughs> what do you got there? Yeah. Oh, kind of looks like Sarah, huh? No, the plate's cuter. No. What do you think, babe? <laughs> uh, look at that. It might be her grandmother. Well, it's a fixer-upper for sure, but, I mean, it's what we do best, right? I say we stay here tonight. That's just me, but, uh, I don't know. There is no fucking way we are staying here tonight. What if they use this place for anything? I don't know, bro. Check out this one. It's weird. Creepy. fuck was that? I don't know. Tony, Paul, get your asses down to the basement. <laughs> ah, on our way. Just turn the camera off. We're going to break your neck on the stairs. Check it out. More numbers. It's weird. Watch your step there, Fellini. Holy shit. This place is amazing. What the fuck happened here? All right. Oh, I want you to get this on camera. Look. So, the tour guide is going to come in right through down these stairs, right where you two just came out. All right. They're going to come through. Our girl's going to be chained up right here. She's going to be screaming like Loving crazy. It. Yeah. All right, she might actually even be topless for you, bro. No, I'm oh. kidding. That's not going to happen. No, you promise? Now we're going to have clowns that right here happen. on this wall. One, two, three, Boom. four. However many clowns we can fit. Hopefully, they'll be moving. We'll see what happens. There's a storm door right at the end of this creepy hallway, and that's where they exit. In and out. Well, we've handled much, much worse. Remember Queens? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Thought we would never speak of Queens again. Tony. Your words. I need you to worry about these, okay? These walk talkies are getting this funky noise. Yeah. I don't know what it I is. I know, I know. We were getting upstairs, too. Dudes, what are all these books? This one's a Bible. That's a nice touch. That's definitely a Bible. Yeah, there you go. Oh, all right, cool. It's all yeah. Bibles. It's so fucked up. Guys, yeah. okay, this is kind of unsettling, right? Come on. Come on. It's, it's a hotel, okay? There's Bibles in every room. Okay, but who put them down here? I mean, look at that wall. It's just it's nice. fucking creepy. Didn't Fletcher say this place has been closed for 30 years? Okay, why yeah. was it closed? Oh my god, their pipes burst. There was a lawsuit. We are building a haunted house, okay? This is half the work's already done for us. I don't know what you guys are freaking out about. That wall is perfect. For well, us. we can look on the bright side. We get free props out of it. Oh. What size are you? Jesus. Tell me what it was like to live in an abandoned hotel. It took Tony and Paul about a week to get the electricity going, and um, that's when we started staying overnight. Uh, it was when we started sleeping there that things started to change. Change how? <laughs> that was 
not his name. <laughs> 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 That's what I called him. Let's see what the rest of our crew is up to. So high. They're, they're all dressed in like Disney princesses, okay? And me, oh, look at this. Yeah, yeah, you remember when all those Disney princesses came through? Oh, yeah, there we go. And you were, what, you were like uh, a werewolf or something that oh, you know? oh, the Disney princesses. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jasmine. Oh. <laughs> So they all come through, and me and Mac are back there, and we're like, oh, this is uh, it. Dude, me and Tony are in another room doing other things. Yeah. He was a werewolf. What were you that year? I, something. I think I was like the Puss Slayer or something. They the asked what? Tony. That's the last really thing Puss you've Slayer ever been. <laughs> come on, I man. I know, that's usually what I am most days out of the week. You're like, moral of the story, yeah. over like this. Moral of the story oh. is we tried too hard to scare these girls because we thought they'd be an easy scare. And what did they do? They laughed their fucking asses off. Princesses, man. The fucking princesses. Yeah. Is that the whole story? Well, you well you're gonna scare them. that's the whole story on my end. Yeah. I don't know about Queens was actually pretty fucking sick, if you think about it. We actually had some good motherfucking times in Queens. It's like the whole time. That, that, the guy that played Lucifer was uh, the guy from like Queens. He had a really thick eye. Uh, he was like, yeah, welcome to Lucifer's cabin. <laughs> Lucifer's cabin. Yeah. Hey. Hey. And hey. people, the people. Go back to Lucifer. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you know what it was oh, like? Oh, man. Fire that we guy? got so many, like, bad reviews on that guy. Dude, I had to fire that guy. Terrible. He almost kicked my fucking ass. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, we, we keep in touch. Fuck you. You keep in touch with that guy. That guy was an asshole. He's yeah. decent, man. He's, you, you buy drugs from him, don't you? Keep the camera running. I want to mm -hmm. say something. Oh, my. I'll say this. Hold on. That's good. Hold on. Okay, so. Speech time. I know it was hasty. Moving up, out of the city, coming up to this podunk town. You're all creeped out. You're all nervous. But we got to keep Hell House fresh, OK? That's that's why we're here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's going to work out. I know it's going to work out. Well, you think we'll still get the numbers we did in New York? Easily. I mean, come on, word of mouth after opening night? Plus, what, it be like 40 minutes from the city? And you've seen Abaddon. This town really appreciates Halloween. We're going to get that. Beautiful fall feeling. You just can't get that in the city. Yeah, well, in the city, at least, when you're creeped out, you can walk outside and, like, fucking get a slice of pizza. <laughs> it's like, you're can't creeped be out, New you York walk outside, you're in a fucking everywhere. Yeah. forest. Yeah, man, you can say whatever the fuck you want about the Queens haunts. We never had to sleep there, OK? That is a good point. But all right. Well, I'm just, I'm trying to get you motivated, all right? It's, thank you, honey. I appreciate it, buddy. You can turn the camera off now. Where is it? Mm. Boom! Ta da! Right. Shebang, baby. Good job, Tony. Up and running. Thank you, sir. Tony, I thought I said I didn't want any blind spots. What's going on here? What room is this? Uh, yeah, that's the basement. It's got some thick stone walls, but, uh, I mean, we should be able to get cameras through there, or at least walkies, but we're not. We're not getting anything, so. It's the liability. You gotta have eyes down there. Yes, thank you, Mac. You have a half naked girl. A room full of assholes. Of course, we need eyes down there. But we, you know, get some big guy muscles, totally ripped. Put him in the clown costume. Undercover clown, sick. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna need an actor down there anyway. So why not someone that can toss out, you know, people like Paul that wanna get a little rapey with uh, with our actor. He's got a point. Sure, should work. All right, Tony. Good idea, dude. Way to go. All that work, Ooh. done. What's going on here, man? Looks like shit. Yeah, well, Alex didn't want to spend any money on moving props this year, so we're stuck with this one right here. Good thing that we're geniuses, so when we're done with there, she'll be creepy as shit. How's it hanging, sweetheart? Just uh, put the camera down for a sec. Help me out. No can do, hombre. Boy genius wants all this shit documented. Pretty lame excuse for you to be a lazy piece of shit like you always are. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my buddy Hector. Me and Hector are gonna play a little song for you. Are you ready, Hector? It's uh, September 5th, 2009. 
uh, we're trace weeks into the creation of this year's Hell House. Uh, it's lonely. Sarah's the only chick in the house, and uh, <laughs> Alex don't like Sharon, if you know what I mean. I had really high hopes for this trip, you know, really high. I thought that it was going to be more like Grand Sexual Station. It's cool, though. We got the new actors coming tomorrow. So hopefully one of them is bonable. I will be documenting the whole thing, as always. The whole shebet. Sarah? What's up, dude? You cool? What, you sleepwalking? That was fucking weird. That's it for me. I'll see you in the morning. Sleep sweet. Responding to it. And she says, Do you have any syrup? And yes. say, um, no. Yes. Oh my god. Will you fuck out of here, dude? Come on, here. Here. This is not cool, man. Come on, guys. Yeah, you were the one with your door cracked open. You wanted You're not me to, to see. Even be here right now. Get the fuck out of here. Can you stop? Seriously? <laughs> hey, motherfucker, I came up here to help you out. I uh, what? not that. I had to tell you that the actors are here. The actors are oh, the actors. Who's here? Uh, Joey, Melissa, Sam. Joey, Melissa, Sam. Joey's clown, Melissa. Okay, Joey, Melissa, Sam. Get the fuck. Oh, Paul. Paul's gonna be, uh, tell me, let's get him with a Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Um, I actually found one police officer who was willing to speak to me um, under the condition of complete anonymity, of course. Um, he was one of the first responders to the hotel the night the Hell House incident um, and was one of the first people inside. So he said the first body they came across was one of the Hell House members. He couldn't say which one. But he said their throat had been cut and that he was pretty sure that the wound was self-inflicted. What the hell happened in there? And your guess is as good as mine, and I honestly don't think we'll ever know. And then, of course, there's the very strange, very sad case of Joey Scheffler. Um, who was in the basement at the time of the chaos, actually made it out alive. Um, of course, we all know how that ended. Hey, Paul. Hey, baby. How you doing, girl? Listen. Yeah. 
getting a little nervous, so if you wouldn't mind. What are you nervous yes. about? Taking your top off? Oh, my God. No, she's <laughs> Thanks. Oh, you're, you're so a cute. a lot of help, Paul. No, you're not taking your top off, my God. You are, however, very important, okay? You're our main attraction. You're at the end of the tour. You're in the basement. You are a damsel in distress. But no one's going to be touching me or anything? No. Okay. No, no one's going to get near you, okay? You met Joy the other day, right? Yeah. Joey's going to be in one of the clown suits. He's going to be down there with you all night, okay. all right? Can I, can I ask why you're filming everything? Yeah, um, I'm sorry. A lot of this is just for us, okay? It's just, you know, it helps us next year with our next haunt. But, uh, you know, it's good for fans. Maybe something for the website. Plus, I'm trying to catch a ghost. And so you have heard the rumors about this. There are no place. rumors about this place. No rumors. We talked about this. It's just shut down. That's all the mayor says. Just shut down. That's it. What do you know? Um, he doesn't know anything. Tell me. I don't know anything. Uh, rumors, Paul. I, uh, the owner was supposed to have hung himself in here. Oh, what? Oh, when did that shit happen? You didn't mention that, Alex. Because it didn't happen. It's a rumor. That's why they call them rumors? I don't know. Is this something? Is this local knowledge? It's the story, I guess. It's yeah. It's just a story, Paul. Was he into satanic rituals? Please don't bring this I wouldn't know, why? Dude, Alex, come on, all the, the fucking wall art downstairs in the basement? What about it? That wasn't you guys? I thought you did that. No, that shit's OG. Um, I, I guess what the story is, is things kept happening to the guests here that forced them to shut the place whoa, down. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. What happened to the guests? I'm the worst person to ask about local history, I don't know. Great time, they left, they never heard from again because nobody writes reviews in 19... Whatever the place Exactly, is. maybe. Shut down. I mean, it's supposed to be haunted, but I mean, mm, you would know more than I would. Have you, have you heard any bumps in the night? Paul, don't you have some work to do with Tony? Doesn't he need a hand? Just I'm go off take... today. No, there is no off day, all right? There, this is everyday work. What are you, come on. All right, all right, all right. I'm out of here. Just a little kiss real quick. I'm not kissing the camera. Can you stop trying to make me oh, kiss damn. the camera? All right, baby. As always. No, this is not happening. <laughs> You need anything, all right? She just let me know. You, okay. okay, massage. Okay. I'm a master of oils. Like, okay, I she was nervous before, and now she's scared. You. Thank you, Paul. Okay, right. how old are you, by the way? No, this is not important. We'll never know what happened in that hotel. Just like we'll never know how the Hell House crew came to put on their Halloween tour there 20 years later. Just like we'll never know exactly what happened to Andrew Tully. The more you dig into the history of the Abaddon Hotel, the more unsettling it gets. And it all begins with a man named Andrew Tully. I'm almost certain that the group knew nothing about the hotel going in. I doubt they knew anything about uh, Tully. I doubt they knew anything about the missing guests, um, why he built the hotel in Abaddon in the first place, any of it. The local ghost story is that Tully built the hotel because of uh, the name of the town. In, in some versions of the Bible, Abaddon is the name of the demon who guards the gateway to hell. Some people say that, that Tully was the head of some um, cult and that he considered himself a latter-day Dante. What happened to the guests? Uh, well, there were a few. Um, but the, the first one was an 11-year-old girl. Um, I think she was 11. And her mother um, both disappeared, last seen checking into the hotel. And did Tully do something? Was he questioned by the police? Oh, yeah. He was questioned by the police multiple times, actually. When that woman and her daughter disappeared and their last known location was the Abaddon Hotel, Tully was able to produce records that uh, showed their departure. So he was cleared of any wrongdoing, but uh, wasn't enough to stop all the questions and basically kill business. A few months later, he hanged himself in the dining room of the hotel. Good. Jesus Christ, those right. fuckers are creepy. I mean, I guess I'll put Joey. Sure are. I'll put Joey right Rock, here. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get this guy out of here and I'll put Joey in there. What do you think? Yo, where's Melissa gonna go? Back there. On the wall. Are we absolutely certain that she can't be topless? <laughs> Paul, if you want to see her boobies For so real? badly, why don't you just ask her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicks dig that. Yeah, especially from you, bro. Oh, baby, I love you too much for a lawsuit. Thank you. I guess it's not that big of a deal. What? What's the problem? It's dummy. His head doesn't move, so they all have to be facing in the same direction rather than, like, one that way, one this way. Who gives a shit? They're all fucking creepy anyways. It's a really great mask. 
And I, I just don't think we should waste it on a dummy it doesn't move. Hmm. Well, Paul, what do you think? You want to slap on this mask, sit down here all night, and stare at Melissa? Huh? Of course he does. It's a joke, bro. It's never going to happen. Fucking light. I just heard a strange noise. I'm gonna go investigate. Yo, dude. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like a scream. What the fuck was that? You guys hear that? I definitely heard something. I didn't hear anything. And so we just all woke up at the same time. No, you woke me up. Tony, are we rolling video anywhere? No. Should we? Yes. No. No. Yes. no. Oh, maybe it's the soundboard. Some leaky roofs. Tony's gonna have to fix that. Oh. We could have like a we could have like a chef guy standing back here like that crazy. Remember these? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. You know what I mean? Chef. We're like, what do you want? <laughs> Serving people food. Oh my god. Talented motherfucker. Can we guys? <laughs> this is our this is our clown. You're welcome, right. guys. You're welcome. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. Good work. All right. Good work. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, let's uh, get I have you. Some um, stuff I have to get you like to fill out. Right? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Ye
How'd you do it? Do what? You did this. Why would I do that shit, dude? To fuck with us, like you always do. Wait, so it's the two of you? Oh, I shot this solo. <laughs> okay, Romero. I'm proud of you two. Great prank. about that much work into the haunt. <laughs> We can build. We we built a haunted house. We can do a commercial. Follow my lead. This is ridiculous, dude. Yeah. I just didn't want to show the inside of the house because a we're not done with it, and b uh, I don't want to give away our scares. I get so that. So I wanted to do something kind of catchy and funny. You know, um, if he wasn't there, really, you know. Gerald, Gerald, what are you doing with her? Gerald, what is this? Don't your I eyes. thought you were at work. I'm not doing too well. Dude, dude. Because the... Oh, hey. Check it out. Check it out. What? Check it out, Sarah. What's she doing? Sarah. What are you doing? Looks Check good, dude. She's gone. It's just pretty, man. Sarah? All right, so we're going to show you all the fine work that Tone Dog and I have been uh, doing. Hard work, too. Yeah. Exhausted. All right, man. Sorry, dude. Locked and loaded? I don't know you told all me. Right. Good? good? Just don't uh, shit your pants like last time. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah uh, check the frame in the back. Look right, not too, it's not angled too down. No, all right, good, cool, perfect. All right, dude, lock me in. All right, cool, dude. Godspeed, all right, Go control room. You're locked. All right, cue the lights. The Strovers. Strovers right. It's pretty good, man. I think we uh I think we're in fucking business, man. Hey man, how many freaks did we have? Are you sure? Positive. Holy shit. Fuck, fuck this. Tony, let me out. Let me the fuck out, dude. This is not fucking cool. Where the fuck are you? Tony, let me the fuck out. Tony, fuck this. Let me the fuck. Are you alright? Jesus Christ, man, what the <sighs> fuck is wrong with you? Dude, I'm just telling you what you we saw. You saw the same thing that no, I saw no, no, on that screen. No, no. We all so went up there. Mac, and we so didn't did see you, anything. Sarah. First of all, keep your voice down, okay? I don't want any of the actors to hear you. Two weeks to go to the show. They should hear me, okay? Everybody Two should know to what's go, going and on. And all our actors are gonna get scared and run away because of you. What are we gonna do when we have no actors? You're talking like a fucking insane man. I'm talking like a businessman. Do you wanna be here? Do you wanna make money? Do you wanna help us be a success? Calm down. I'm sorry you got scared. Fucking ridiculous, man. Oh, you're ridiculous. Paul, Paul, Paul. Dude, just come back. Are you gonna be okay? Jesus Christ, Alex. Don't you start on me now. Yeah. It's getting worse, man. Can you turn the camera off? 
I think Alex was his own worst enemy. For whatever reason he had them in that hotel, I think it was, uh, I think he believed it was uh, in the best interest for the company, uh, his company, the company he created. <sighs> the others were simply loyal to him. He and Sarah had been together for years. Um, he and McNamara grew up together. They'd, they'd known each other since they were boys. Uh, Tony and Paul were, uh, I think, his first hires. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was a bomb there. Sarah, you're fine. You're fine. You're okay. Sarah, you're fine. Sarah, you're downstairs. You're fine. You're fine. Hey, hey, hey. You're fine. It's okay. Jesus fucking Christ. It's okay. What the fuck, dude? It's okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come here. Come here. You're all right. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Mac. What the fuck was he? Here. I'm go upstairs. <laughs>
three days. Till the opening of Hell House. Yippee. Everyone's a little stressed. I personally think we have no business being here. Alex is more confident than ever. Where Sarah just doesn't look good. She usually does. That's all for me. Sleep sweet. I mean, he's not gonna leave two days before opening night without saying it. Oh, yeah? 2005, he left for two whole shows without saying anything to anybody. All right, he's done it before, he's gonna do it again. Max, what he does. does. No, come on, Matt. That was four years ago. You're really gonna, like, still hold that against him. You think he's gonna change? All right, pause the fuck up. That's just what he is. You can't change that. No, he, he set up half these cameras in his house himself. Just hold, hold up, guys. Have, have either of you geniuses called him yet? I didn't call. I don't think I have his phone number. You didn't, I didn't call. Just give him a call. Use my phone. The point is, he's not here right now. So yeah, all his say. shit is upstairs. It's ringing. Paul? Fuck. What the fuck was that? Alex, what was that? I don't know. Alex.
you in here? You in here? You in here? When we were down here, along with these two as well. I'm not shutting oh, down, you know, me. Yeah, we were shutting down. Not it's not safe anymore. I'll tell you what I can't explain is how scared you are right now. Yeah, I'm fucking Paul's scared, back, right? Isn't that good? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Paul's back. He's technically back, but he hasn't said a fucking word since he's been here. He just fucking sits there. Which pretty much makes him as useless as he always was. Before. Oh, fuck you, Mac. Fuck you! You were fucking down here. What do you you were down say? here. You saw what fucking happened, and now you're gonna make a fucking joke. Right now? To Alex, your fucking best bud? Fuck you, man. Explain to me right now how that fucking head turned. I haven't figured that part out. You haven't fucking figured it out. No shit, you haven't figured it out. There's nothing to figure out. It can't fucking turn, Honey, but it did. We have time for this. It's fucking opening night tomorrow. I don't fucking care, okay? I'm out. All right, you're quitting. That's what this is. I'm quitting, yeah. Quitting. Yeah, write it down in your stupid fuck 
fucking book, sure to then I'm fucking great. quitting. All right. Fuck you. Fuck you, Mac. See you, Tony. Alex. Let him go. Hey, hey, hey. Let Tony. Him go. Alex, shut Let him go. go. Tony. Tony, come here. Come here. Fucking asshole, you fucking... Just, you just hold you on just a second. There? Okay. Hold on, you don't understand everything, all right? You don't have all the I facts. I don't fucking care. You don't understand I'm taking the, I'm taking the fucking Stop. sign down. Stop. Stop fucking all right, sign look, down. Just listen to what I have to say, and then you can take oh. off if you want. But you need to listen to this. You have to hear oh. this. What? Jesus. Sarah? No. Then you haven't told Paul. <sighs> no. You know what's really scary, though? What? There's a lot he's not telling me. <sighs> well, you're staying. You're not the one that should apologize. Right. See back there? Yeah. Sure. I'll be back. So when opening night arrived, was there anything, anything technically wrong with the house? Was there any gear or props that were malfunctioning that maybe could have hurt someone? To the best of your knowledge, were you prepared and ready for opening night? Yeah. And was Alex of sound mind? What do you mean? Um, what I mean to say is, was Alex, was Alex fit to run the show? Was there anything on management's end that maybe could have caused the tragedy? Alex was the same as always. He, um... He did a good job of rallying the actors and Tony and Mac. He told me that it would be okay. And I believe him. Sarah, why did you not leave? Alex wasn't gonna leave the house. What was I supposed to do? I understand. Leading up to that point, did you notice anything that raised any alarms? That clown guy that was running against traffic. He shot right past us as we neared the basement. I remember thinking, if this is a part of the show, then it's pretty lame, but... Of course, it wasn't. We got close to the bottom of the basement steps 
he couldn't move anymore. And nobody could. Why? Because everyone that was already in the basement was, was trying to get out. Coming to uh, Abaddon, um, you know, out of, out of New York. Um, last year was was actually our biggest opening, you know. Uh, even even Sarah said that. Uh... I haven't seen Paul around in a few days. Is he okay or? Paul. Um, Paul's fine. Yeah. Why would? Yeah. Don't. You know, he's he's a little under the weather, but. Um, He's okay, we're gonna have to run without him. But don't worry about crew. We're gonna be, we're gonna be all right. Scaring some people. Let's, <laughs> let's scare, let's, yeah. let's scare some people tonight. Um, and uh, just a lot of them are gonna come through here. And... Yeah, uh, yeah, great. Yeah. So let's uh, let's get into costume and makeup yeah. and go get ready. Awesome. All right. Sounds good. So, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thanks. Uh, so, man. Hey. Yeah. Um. I'm sorry. I know it's it's been rough. Yeah. I don't know. It's, I should have reacted like that. I did. You're yeah, right. I hope so. Yeah. We're all right. We're all right. We're all right. All right. Yeah, I can't win this without you, man. Right? You know that? Paul? Yo, Paul. Paul, wake up. Come on, buddy. Wake up. Paul. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. You know, come no. over and not see the sign. No. <laughs> not at all. All right, take a look at this crap for me. Yeah. Take a look at this crap. Who we got down here? Oh, oh we got. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Look at that. So happy. Oh, I can't uh, wait to see my pants. God, I'm gonna be so scared in a few minutes. Oh, good luck trying to scare me. Okay. You guys ready to go? Are you filming yeah. right now? Yeah. Yeah. We're all set. You have the keys to our chains, right? All right, keep an eye on our big guy. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> okay. All right, let's have some fun up there, you guys. Yeah. Hey, Max, um, is everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, ev everything's fine. You were telling me if something was wrong, right? Of course. It's, it's not a big deal. Okay. okay? All right. Let's get going, guys. I'm just going to get this finished up. <laughs> now, it might be a little cold. But I'm sorry. <laughs> When do people usually get here? We open the doors at 8. Alright, so we're just gonna do... <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> Alright, here we go. See you later. All right, Sam, can you hear me? We open in exactly 10 minutes. I need everybody ready, in position, ready to go. You heard from Paul at all? No. I'm still sleeping. It's, uh, it's creepy. You guys it. It's not creepy, is it? I mean, it's annoying. Hey, Mac, have you heard from Paul at all on your end? He's right here. There he is. Ah. Mac, can you hold down your button, please, when you speak to me? Wow. Lost him. That's his walkie-talkies, man. Mac, just start recording whenever you're ready, all right? Or did you get the better ones? Oh, my God. Ask him if you know sign language. All right, head into position. We'll talk to you when this is all over, all right? All right. All right. All right. I'm off to a good start. Broken walkies. Great. will be all right. 
It's not gonna stop us. Let's go. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Welcome, everyone. Oh, welcome, everyone. Pump it up, pump it up. Yeah. All right, all of us looks good. We're down in bathroom, we're down in bathroom. Cue steam, love it. All right, we're circling around the dining room. Oh, I love the kitchen gag. Yeah. 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 Keep the line moving, guys. I want people in and out. I need some strobe. I need to kick up the strobe in the rat room. Wonderful scare. Here we go. I love this guy. We've been waiting for you. I hope you all enjoy your stay. It will be for very, very. Amazon, I see you. I see you. Sir, what are you doing? I think I just saw Paul. Paul? Where? Where did he look at me? Right, I'll take care of you. Go back to your room. Joey! Alex! Alex! Alex, Joey just ran out of the basement. What's going on down there? There's Joseph. Where is Joey going? Son of a bitch. Did you hear that? What the fuck was that? Go back upstairs and find out what's going on. Go, go, go. Is that supposed to happen? I don't think so. Technical difficulties on opening night. Alex, come in. Alex, I have no eyes in the basement. Something's up. Alex, pick up your walking. Right? It's real. These guys are gross. Get out the cave, Joey! Get me out of here! Please, please get help. Help! Help! Please! Going out! 
Uh, there's a, there's a, there's another way out over here. Tony, Tony, get to the basement. Get to the basement. Go. All of you guys. Came down, um, came down the stairs from the attic, and when I got to the front door, the police were arriving. I'm just happy to be alive. They didn't ask me any questions or anything. They just rushed me out. Nothing happened to you from the attic all the way to the front door, you just left? Yeah. God, how, how, if, if this is all true, how was it kept from the public for so long? Sorry, um, I'm just feeling really tired. Do you think that we could maybe take a break? Of course, of course, I'm so sorry. Jonathan, will you, <laughs> I, I keep throwing these questions at you and I know you've gotta be exhausted. Can we get you water, can we get you water or anything to eat? Um, well, we can, well, let's, let's get, we'll get you a room to rest in. Oh, um, I already have a room. It's, it's 2C. If you could just give me a couple hours, you could come find me there. I will, thank you. You know, you should really try and get inside the house if you can. It's always inside. Thanks, but it's all boarded up and I just cannot get a permit. Is it? The only thing holding you back. You should really try and see it. Maybe. I'll talk to the guys. Thanks. I mean, the place is all boarded up. What, are we going to break so in? So what? Yeah, why not? I mean, it's 5 in the morning. Nobody's going to be there. Yeah, I'm with Diane. I think it'd be worth it to get inside. Thank you. What? Are you afraid of a little g g g g g g g We have one hour, though. Perfect. One hour. Can do. Grab the camera. Will you finish going through the footage? I want to look at it today. Got it. Yes? Good. Thank you. Um, we're going to step out for a minute. If the woman in 2C asks for me, can you tell her we'll be back in like an hour? 2C? Yeah. Our rooms don't have any letters. Um, she did say the 2C, right? Yeah, 2C. Can you tell me what room Sarah Hobble is staying in, please? Sure. Thank you. There isn't a Sarah Hobble staying here. Um, do you think maybe... She's probably just staying under another name or something. Come on. Thank you very much. Okay, sure. You want to go see this house or not?
Anything specific here? What, uh, here we go. what are we trying to do? <laughs> this is the... Oh my god! Oh my god! Do you remember that this is where? What? It's creepy. Yeah, this is this is this is a wall where. Uh, no, I feel like so the kitchen would be. I feel like we're getting like asbestos or something in here. Can we get out of here? This is where the, the strobe light. What is this? Kitchen? Well, I think the tour continues that way. I don't think we're going to be able to go back that way. Well, let's find another way. Okay. All right. Oh my God, look at the blood. Can you see that? Uh, look up, can you get, get that shot, get that shot. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Uh, fuck that, no, let's, I'm not. Look, no. it's like a handful. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't care what, it? I don't give a shit. That's <laughs> not, nope, let's just go. Okay, you're right, hey, you're right. Here, let's Careful, go watch your foot, watch your foot. This is where they had the bartender there. Oh, fuck. It's all fake. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh. All right, come on, let's. We got it. We got to find the kitchen. Yeah, I don't want. Watch this. Watch this guy. Oh man. No one's. Come on. Can we just like go into the other room? <laughs> don't look here. Oh fuck. Oh my god. All right. Oh, no, that doesn't. Right, of course it does. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, don't be such a pussy. Come on, we're not even. Can you, can you just like slow down, like? Can you get this? Oh my God! Look at that shit! Look at that! Uh, oh! <laughs> oh my God! Who is it? It's Mitchell. I'll call him on the way back. Come on. Can I take us to the other end of the kitchen, maybe? If we, that's not it. It's the stairs right there. We gotta go up the stairs. Yeah, sure. Of course we do. The security cameras everywhere. Yeah. So this locks. That's fucking creepy. Hold on, let me turn Fuck. this light off. Fuck. What is that? She said 2C, right? What the I fuck? I mean, do you think. I mean. No, what? Don't fucking open that. Well, what? Is... It's what we're here for. We're here. We're to... not here to fucking go into a creepy ass room. I am. Diane, don't shut, shut. Diane, don't open the Come on, not me. Don't fucking go in there. Sarah? Honey, are you okay? Don't. Sarah. Let's get the Oh my god! 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 Oh my